What's going on guys? PC here and welcome to another episode of I'm um, Playing. Today I'm playing Mr. Driller on the Dreamcast. This is a puzzle game that's actually part of the Dig Dug series. A lot of people might not actually know this, but this actually started out as Dig Dug 3, but they changed the name of the game later on. I'm not sure exactly the reason for that, but the star of this game is actually the son of the star of Dig Dug. So, there's a little interesting fact for you. But anyway, the main goal of this game is basically to drill down through a bunch of blocks while keeping an eye on your air meter and trying not to be crushed by falling blocks. And it really is that simple. Basically, just get down as far as you can. On certain modes, like the arcade mode or time attack, you actually have a certain depth you need to get to. In survival mode, you're just trying to get down as far as you can. So I'm just going to go into the arcade mode here. So you have a couple different options to choose from here. You can go to 2,500 feet or 5,000 feet. 5,000 for experts or 2,500 for beginners. I'm going to go to the 2,500. I'm still kind of a beginner at this game. I actually just played this game for the first time, and I actually recorded a first look video on this, but I realized afterwards I had forgot to turn on the microphone. So that's why I'm here doing and I'm playing on this now. So I still don't know... I'm not an expert on this game, obviously, since I just played it for the first time, but uh, I do know the basic concept, and there really isn't a whole lot to it. Basically, just drill down through the blocks and get as far down as you can, or to the goal, depending on which mode you're playing. You want to keep an eye on your air meter, which is over on the right of the screen there. If it gets down to zero, you turn, well, you actually turn blue before that gets down to zero. I think it's about maybe 15, 10%, something like that. And if you get to 0%, you're dead. On the arcade mode, you do get a certain amount of lives. I believe two lives. Down at the bottom left, it says your amount of lives. On the other two modes, you actually get no lives. <laughs> so you actually have to stay alive. And if you die, that is the end of the game. Which is why I kind of prefer the arcade mode, because I'm not so great at this game. At least, not yet. On my last attempt, I made it to 1,500 feet. The goal is 2,500 feet, so... Yeah, a little ways to go. But this is a lot of fun. If you like puzzle games like Dig Dug, or Tetris, or Bejeweled, a lot of people have actually compared this game to... Tetris and, well, Dig Dug, obviously, because it's part of the Dig Dug series, but it's kind of a combination of the two. But obviously it has its own elements, like the air, and the fact that you're drilling, and going down, and down, and down, to as far as you can go. You can climb on top of blocks by pushing towards them, if they're only one block high which comes in handy because you can't jump at all, so you can get stuck if the blocks are too high on either side of you, but if it's only one block high, like I said, you can just climb on top of them. These wooden blocks here actually take quite a few drills to get through, and they'll actually deduct 20% of your air when you drill through them, so you kind of want to avoid drilling through those. Interesting fact about this game on the Dreamcast is that you can actually use the microphone for this. I'm not sure exactly why you'd want to do that, but you can actually yell into the microphone to drill. And so basically you just say, drill, drill, drill. I would think that would get kind of annoying after a while, so I think I'll stick with the regular controller, but you can do that. You just know that that's an option. <laughs> If you're a very talkative person and like to yell things, maybe you'll enjoy doing that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's a fact that a lot of people don't really know about this game. But the microphone it really isn't used all that much in a lot of Dreamcast games. The ones I know of, Alien Front Online, Planet Ring, uh, obviously Seaman, and the Dream Eye camera, the software that comes with that. 
Oh, jeez. That was close. Now, if you haven't already noticed, if you, uh, a few blocks of the same color merge together, they'll actually disappear. A fairly common element in a lot of different puzzle games. Actually lets you get down pretty quickly if you can set off a chain of them. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Actually not doing too bad. It's the first time I've actually died. I go to the thousand feet. Once you get to certain depths, the blocks will actually change color and pattern, which is, is kind of neat. Oh, some really big blocks on this level. This section of the level. Oh, I don't even have to drill. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll just enjoy the ride then. Every once in a while you run into these sleeping creatures. I'm not exactly sure what if they do anything or if they're just, I don't know, kind of part of the background. I do like the music in this game. It's kind of cool. The music that's playing now is kind of interesting. Kind of like a Japanese traditional soundtrack. Oh, jeez. You can't actually drill up, so if you have a block that's falling on top of you, if you time it correctly, you can actually drill it out of the way before it hits you. I've had maybe a 50% success with that, though. I think you have to time it just right, or else you won't actually be able to get it in time. Oh, oh, oh! See, <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, I guess that was an admirable attempt. 17.35, that's actually a record for me, so... <laughs> Put in a name for the high score here. I'll show you one of the other modes. Save and exit here. I don't have a VMU in, so it's actually not going to save, but... So, I'll go to the time attack mode, see if we can actually do that. Like I said, in the modes other than the arcade, you only have one life, so it's pretty difficult. Alright, so 500 feet in 15 seconds. I'm going to go with that one because I assume that's the first and possibly the easiest of the time attack levels. Now in the arcade mode, the levels are actually randomly generated. But in the other two modes, well, maybe, not, maybe just the time attack mode, it's actually the same every time. So you can actually memorize the level and uh, maybe get through it a little bit faster. Which makes sense for the time attack, because trying to go down as fast as possible, being able to memorize the level definitely helps. So as you can see, there are time bonuses. Ah, jeez. Well, that wasn't too bad of an attempt, I don't think. Let's try it again. Yeah, so you have these time bonuses that will actually increase the clock, so you save you a bit of time, so you can go for those. Just trying to go as fast as possible here, we'll see how that works out. <laughs> Knowing my luck, probably not, but... Oh, wow! I actually made it! Wow! Not bad! Oh, there's those blue creatures again. They must have some significance. Maybe they're... Maybe they have something to do with Dig Dug? I, I'm not really sure. I only played Dig Dug briefly. Uh, my time, 22 seconds. I actually did not beat the 15 second mark. Right, let's go back and try out the survival mode. We'll see how long I can survive. So as normal, hard, and expert, I'm not sure why they... Because I assume the survival mode, you go down as far as you can without dying, but for some reason they have an actual depth next to the different difficulties, 0, 5,000, and 10,000. Maybe that's 
minimum or something like that? I'm not really sure. I'm just going to go to normal. Because that's a zero. Obviously, zero is not the goal. <laughs> so, I, I'll go with that one. Because it says the record is 5,000 feet, so I'm trying to actually beat the record. So we'll see how it goes here. Oh, jeez. I was going to say, see how it goes if I go really fast. Survival mode actually has a replay, which is kind of cool. It doesn't look like there's an option to save the replay, but... But it's cool nonetheless. Let's try that again. See if we can do any better. <laughs> there's absolutely no way I'm going to make it to 5,000 feet. So, yeah. Let's set my goal at a uh, 500 foot depth. See if we can do that. Ah, oh, man! I was trying to point up and drill. Alright. I got it this time. See, that never works. You have to time that perfectly. This is my last attempt. 500 feet is a, a fairly small goal. <laughs> I should be able to do that. I should just go a little bit slower. Unlike the time attack, I don't actually have a time limit, so... Not necessarily good idea to go extremely fast here. Take my time. Ooh. You can have some pretty close calls in this game. I've had times where I've just barely avoided a falling block. Sometimes accidentally. <laughs> This is a bit of a predicament here. Ah, oh, man! Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the arcade mode. <laughs> I need extra lives. At least until I'm a little better at the game. I do really like this game, though, and I'm not a, usually a huge fan of puzzle games. I do like Tetris. Uh, Noetrix Plus is a really good puzzle game on the Dreamcast. If you've never checked that out, definitely take a look at Wetrix Plus. But generally, puzzle games, not really my genre, but I do like this one. It's a lot of fun. Oh, man. So yeah, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. This is actually one of the harder games to find on the Dreamcast. But I think I paid probably... I don't know, I think I paid around 15 for it, but that that was a really good price for it. I think it normally goes for 20 to 30 somewhere around there, but it's, it's kind of difficult to find. I think last time I looked, there were only a couple copies on eBay, so... It's not necessarily the most expensive game on the Dreamcast, it's just there aren't many copies of it. But I would definitely recommend giving it a shot if you can find it. If you like puzzle games, you like Dig Dug, uh, Tetris, maybe Bejeweled, those types of games, then uh, I think you'll definitely enjoy this. But anyway guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.